Hi there, it's Ollie Epsom here again on Radioactivity. Basically, um, now the wind's calmed down, I've got enough time to talk to you about where we are. So we're out here um, in the Firth of Clyde today. We're just on the route to Rue. So we've got um, Greenock there on the starboard side. And behind us, just where the sun's setting, you see the entrance to the Holy Lock, which is very nice. And we've got the autopilot in control, as we can see. We're on sort of a... Um, kind of a broad reach I guess. Um, I've waited to make this video because the weather's calm enough that you can hopefully hear what I'm saying. Um, also it's a nice evening. Um, it's been a bit of a shit summer if I'm 100% honest with you. I've not really been that much with it. Um, I was quite ill for a while um, and a lot of the sailing I've been doing this summer has been racing so haven't really needed the autopilot. So it's kind of rare days like this when I get a chance to come out on my own and do a proper passage from A to B and actually tinker around with my electronics and make sure that it works. Um, as you can see behind me, it is working. Um, and uh, yeah, working well. You'll notice one fairly obvious change that I've had to make and that's the, um, I've removed all the buttons here from the control unit. Um, and the reason for that is because I actually did test it properly um, over the summer and I discovered that the buttons, although they're IP68 rated I think, um, something to do with the way the buttons were attached to the lid basically meant it wasn't waterproof. So water got in, okay lesson learned, I'm not doing that again. So what I've done is I've taken the buttons off, I've removed moved these lights to the side here um, and basically rebuilt it like that. And now control is through the remote control and also the much improved mobile phone app, which I'll give you some screenshots of. So with the new mobile phone app that I've written, I've got full feedback on the phone in terms of where we are, where we're going, how it's performing and so on. Um, I've also reprogrammed the integral component um, into what I've termed a nudge mode. Um, so what it'll do is as it starts to drift off course, it'll just nudge the tiller in the integral term. Um, that seems to have sorted um, a lot of the issues and as I say I've been using this now for most of the last four hours up here. I've probably done a couple of hundred miles on it and it's got to the stage now where I am quite happy with the performance of this autopilot. We can kind of see it's um, drifted off a little but it is coming back now 58 degrees, 59 degrees and I've updated the display there so that the integral term is um, and the, the contributions of the three factors are, um, are listed so that you can actually analyze it later and see what it's doing. Now, as you can see, I've probably got that um, differential term a bit too low at the moment, and that's why it's overshot there. But it is coming back. Um, basically, every time I try to make a film about it, um, something goes way off. Um, so I suspect what I've done is underset the differential term. Um, I'll just reset that maybe drop the integral a bit and everything should be fine. Ik wonder wat van jou geworden is. Je wat nog zo bij mij spook. Ik weet net ons hij die veel gemak. Die barrel dan die brand gestoek. Nou is die nacht zo veel stiller. Die daar is al eier toch. Maar ons twee was die volle vindse blare. Ons kaartjes le die hele wereld vol. Tussen vreine, tussen stasies, le daar basies, net die le. Die ding van los wees voor die wind Onthou jy ook die rook die eister Die licht wat in die verte blink 
Dan denk ik toch aan zoveel dagen, zoveel staven.